Hi everyone, I am Hosanna David. Welcome to Igulai Opna. I did a video recently in which I shared a message I got from the Lord about coronavirus and World War III. But warfare prayers were actually going on in the church compound, so some persons complained that the background noise was actually too much. Uh, and that uh, they couldn't watch the video. So I feel I should record the video again and post it for the sake of those people. Um, while I was in a Bible study class, I had a vision. Sleep came and as I was about to see off, I had a vision. And in this vision, I saw something that looks like an explosive. It was moving in a rectangular iron. Uh, there was a pipe, it was rectangular in, in shape and something was moving inside of it and what was moving was actually called in that vision, it was called World War Three, and it had some it had some kind of colored lights while it was moving inside and a part of the uh, pipe it was like it, there was a leakage in it and it almost escaped from it and I heard a voice that said people should pray so that World War 3 will not break out amidst corona coronavirus time confusion has risen among nations only God can can calm the dust that is in the atmosphere Christians should pray fervently this is a message I got when I saw that vision. The truth is that there are speculations all over the world that the coronavirus is uh, a biological weapon. Some are actually saying that it was created to destabilize China, the uh, economic uh, uh, stand, because China is one of the economic powers of the world and there are different kind of speculations the truth is that we don't know the truth uh, about the outbreak of this virus and the virus is actually spreading to other places nobody knows what is happening we are just floating on top of the situation we are not deep in it uh, we can't actually hold any uh, source of news as 100% reliable because we know that uh, fake news are everywhere too but what do we need to do we Christians we are called to pray let us go down on our knees and pray for the world as a whole let's pray for China and let's pray for the world and the coronavirus is traveling so fast even today it has just been confirmed yesterday in Nigeria in Lagos the economic hub of Nigeria that the coronavirus was uh, tested for the first time in a man uh, an Italian who came to Nigeria to work and is be confirmed in Nigeria so let us pray that God should take absolute control and also that the confusion that is in the atmosphere should not lead to war among nations but we have been told in Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 that and you shall hear of wars and rumors of war see that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet we shouldn't be alarmed by the rumors of war but we need to pray so that our wars will not come uh, prematurely they will definitely come as the bible has said and there are wars ready but we just need to be prayerful so that the devil doesn't uh, cause wars to break out when it don't supposed to be and this virus that is actually ravaging our world today i actually see it that it may have a connection with what revelation chapter 6 verses 7 and 8 called uh, the beast of the earth it reads and when he opened the fourth when he opened the fourth seal i heard the voice of the fourth beast say 
come and see and I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him and power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with anger and with death and with the beast of the earth with the beast of the earth beasts of the earth this could be even though they are minute they are microscopic this could be called beast because of their uh, potency because of their strength their devastating strength viruses have actually claimed more people than worlds in this world than any physical beast we can ever think of so this could be referred to as beasts of the earth what we need to do is that we need to get ready for the second coming of jesus christ because there is no more time let's get ready everything the lord says is they are coming to pass before our very eyes the rapture will soon take place and the saints will be cut off will be cut off cut up to meet the lord and when this happens the antichrist will be set loose officially the antichrist will start uh, if afflicting pains on humans and it's going to be very very terrible so let us make sure we wash our garments in the blood of the lamp and keep our garments white because there is no more time the lord jesus christ will definitely return again let's pray for the world and let's also be careful about the way we go about our lives thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to eagle eye opener and also visit our website eagleeyeopener.com and biblicalsexualpurity.com. God bless you. Bye.